This is Chris with Ables. Like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ables, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my WWE Monday Night Raw, August 14th, 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. Now, before we talk about the first match of the night, we got to talk about a segment that led up to that match. So we kick off the show with... Mr. Money in the Bank, Damian Priest, the NXT North American Champion, Dominic Mysterio, and the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley, The Judgment Day. So yeah, all three of them was in the ring. Finn Balor was not with them, but Finn Balor is on the show tonight because he has a match later on tonight against Cody Rhodes. So yeah, The Judgment Day are in the ring, and Damian Priest was talking, talking about, uh, what happened at SummerSlam and everything with uh, Finn Balor should have walked out as a new World Heavyweight Champion, but what happened and stuff, obviously he didn't walk out as the World Heavyweight Champion, and Damian Priest was talking about how he should have walked out, you know, as champion, and then, um, you know, he starts talking about their issues with each other, and Ray Ripley was trying to get him to stop and everything, and Damian Priest is like, why should I stop it if everybody already knows this, like, why ain't he out here with us and everything, you know? So, yeah, that's what he was saying. Then, all of a sudden, they get interrupted by J.D. McDonough, which is Finn Balor's friend. He comes out there, and he says that Finn Balor sent him out there to give them a message. Uh, I'm talking about how he is here tonight and like, all that stuff. And uh, then Rhea Ripley looks at um, J.D. and says, like, nobody gives the Judgment Day orders, especially people that's not even in the Judgment Day. And J.D. McDonough, um, you know, he was standing in the ring and everything. And then Dominic was trying to talk and the crowd was just booing the hell out of him. And then he says that Canada is a part of North America. So that means he's our champion. So, you know, just, you know, and they're booing the hell out of him over that shit, which is pretty funny, you know. But then, yeah, um, Damian Priest and J.D. McDonough was somewhat getting into and everything a little bit just verbally. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, he was talking about how he uh, beat up Sami Zayn last week on Raw backstage and everything, and how he's actually cleared to compete tonight. And then speaking about Sami Zayn, here he comes running out there, and him and JD McDonough's brawling outside the ring. Uh, Sami Zayn's just beating the hell out of him and everything, throwing him into the ring post and all that. McDonough was trying to get into the ring a few times, and he got pulled right back out. Sami gets on the ring apron at one point, staring at Damian Priest, and Damian Priest is like, he's all yours, pretty much. And Sami Zayn just kept on going after McDonough. The Judgment Day got out of the ring. They was not dealing with it. Uh, but then Sami Zayn was grabbing McDonough. And McDonough grabs his arm and pulls it. Because, you know, he got to injure elbow and everything into the ring post. And starts beating him down against the ring post. Like throwing him into the ring post with the injured arm. So, yeah, injured elbow. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then we get the match underway. Sami Zayn versus JD McDonough 101. This match, it was a pretty good match for the most part. It was going back and forth and everything. McDonough was actually had a uh, cross face locked on during this match, you know. Um, if everybody knows that reference right there, Canada, Chris Benoit, stuff like that. <laughs> Disrespectful, <laughs> you know. Um, that's what everybody else says, at least. But yeah, JD McDonough had that locked on, but then Sami Zayn fought out of that eventually. Uh, and then at one point when Sami Zayn was taking control of this match, like he had that exploded suplex onto McDonough into the corner. Um, you know, he was setting up for the Huluva kick, but then uh, Finn Balor comes walking out there and everything is distracting Sami Zayn. JD rolls up Sami for a pin. One, two, Sami barely kicking out at two. And then uh, Sami got back up and he gets hit with a big headbutt by JD. And then uh, JD climbs up the top turnbuckle. He jumps off with a moonsault, but he got uh, Sami puts his feet up in the air, which uh, kicked JD in the face. And JD goes you know, collapsing close to the turnbuckles and everything. Sammy's over there at one side of the ring, setting up for the Huluva kick. Uh, Finn Balor gets on the ring apron, but Sammy knocks him off the apron, and then he hits the Huluva kick onto JD McDonough and pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Sammy Zayn defeated JD McDonough tonight on Monday Night Raw. That's what happened. Pretty good match for the match, and you know, before the match and everything, I'll give it three stars. That's why I'll give it. it was a pretty good start for Raw. But yeah, that's what happened there. And then, after that, we see Adam Pearce and one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Chelsea Green, talking backstage. 
And, you know, uh, they was talking about how Sonya Deville was injured and everything. So Adam Pearce wants her to relinquish the tag team titles. She the Green don't want to do that. And she says that she has better ideas. And, uh, you know, Adam Pearce is like, oh, what's your ideas or whatever, you know. And uh, she kept on saying, keep on blowing that temper. I'm going to call human resources and all that stuff. And then he goes like, well, what's your ideas? And she says that she got like a talent show pretty much uh, who will become the new uh, women's tag team type champions with her. And then all of a sudden we see Katana Chance and uh, Kaden Carter get into uh, getting backstage and stuff. And they start talking, talking about how they want to go after the tag team titles. And then we see Piper Niven coming up, attacking both of them, knocking them down. And then she goes up to Chelsea Green and says that, I'm a champion now. And Chelsea Green was like, yeah, how about you give me your phone number or email? I'll put you in the talent show. She goes like, no. And then she just pulls one of the tag team titles. And she says, I'm your tag team champion with you. Let's go. That's what happened there. So, yeah, Piper Never, I guess, is the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. That's what happened there. But, yeah, much more stuff tonight. Shinsuke Nakamura will be on Raw tonight with the interview later on talking about Seth Rollins and all that we'll see Cody Rhodes versus Finn Balor one on one tonight so yeah I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw see you guys later until then